Mm. What are you doing? Hello! What are you doing? Thing what? One. What are you doing? What? We're trying to make a video. I know. I want them to see me real good. Uh, well, I gotta make sure I look pretty. Well, okay. But what? they're not gonna be able to see me or anything else. That's okay. <sighs> thing one. Yes. What am I gonna do with you? I don't know. At least take one step back. Come on. Okay. 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 That good? I think that's good. Hi. Hi. You guys ready for kids' church? We are ready for kids' church. We are ready for kids' church. We are ready for kids' church. How about you? Hmm. Make sure oh, you, you like all follow song? along. Mm. We got some other songs coming up that might be a little bit oh, better fine, than that. Fine. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. We just have some. Really good ones coming up. Ooh, well, anyways, we can't wait for you to see. We miss you. Watch our video. <laughs> My hair looks funny. I don't think I combed it good enough that's today. That's what it always looks like. No, that's what no, it always looks like. Cat, no, no. no. That's what. Sorry, guys. Enjoy the video.
Are you doing okay there, thing one? Are you all right? Do I need to do I need to pray for you or something? You're acting a little strange. Pray? Yeah. For like, me? Like pray, ask God for something. I mean, I guess you could try. What do you mean try? Prayer works all the time. What? Yeah, God always answers our prayers. He always hears our prayers. I've never heard of a prayer being answered. You've never heard of a one single prayer being answered before. Mm. Well, that's, you know what? I have the perfect solution for that. What's that? All the kids send in videos telling them, telling us about times when God answered prayer for them. Oh. So now you can watch it and you can learn about how God answers prayer. Good this idea, This sounds huh? like a good... idea. Oh, okay, good. Alrighty, let's ah! roll it. We're doing a testimony. Remember, Brynn? And one day Brynn decided to move out and he went to the bathroom and he said, Hey, can you help me with the bathroom? And then he said, Yeah, sure. And then he went to the bathroom and he was praying for Brynn to come back because we didn't want him in the world to be worldly. So, so we prayed for him to come back, and a few weeks later, Rain came back, and I, that's my testimony today. God can do miracles. I would like to talk about when God um, forgave me from all my sins. I asked my dad, um, I wanted to get baptized. So the next church I got baptized and I kind of felt good. <laughs> Did you feel like all your sins were gone? Yeah. You were pretty worried about all your sins weren't you? You were like I need to get rid of these nasty things. Yeah. Yeah and it felt pretty good didn't it? See? 
1 Corinthians 9, verse 14. In a race, all runners run, but only one gets the prize. You know that, don't you? So run in a way that will get you the prize. All who take part in the game train hard. They don't do it to get a crown. They do it to get a crown that will last, not last. But we do, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. And what that means is that when we pray, we are basically running a race. There are a few bumps, maybe some potholes along the way. But God will lift you up and get you moving again. You need to pray and not give in to flesh. Do not let the devil distract you. Today I want to talk to you about distractions. Distractions are something that the devil will use to stop you from praying. You need to try to think about God and not some new game you might have or what happened to, or something that happened at school. We will all get distracted. Do me, everyone get this, gets distracted. For example, one Sunday night at the altar, Brinley came up and started jumping with Emery. And I got up instead of praying. I started playing with Britt and Emery and I didn't finish praying. And that's why distractions are something you should try to avoid. Let God answer every prayer the way you want him to. Guys, I cannot wait to go today. I have so many plans. We're going to the beach. We're going to play sand volleyball. I have this fantastic outfit. Are you kidding me? Rain was not in the forecast today. I had so many plans. God, Please, just don't let it rain today. And actually, if you don't mind, please just don't let it rain ever, ever again. Because I really love the sun and I like to be outside with my friends. So, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Well, it's been 312 days without rain. Certainly hope y'all don't want no corn on a cob on your summer barbecue. Because can't grow no corn without no rain. So, please help me and pray for rain, y'all. Tony. Yes? I've already told you it's time to get off the video games. Oh, come on. Why? Because you need to do something else. You've been playing them for too long. <sighs> you need to go outside. Go, go play. Go outside? Yes. Who wants to do that when you can play video games? No more video games. Oh, whatever. God, I just wish I could play video games all day. You know what? What if I prayed? Jesus, please let it be that I can play video games all day. Amen. Tony? Yeah. Yes? It's time for dinner. Oh, dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay, here I come. Oh, man. <sighs> Oh, should have put down the video games and went outside. Oh, oh man. 
man, that was awesome. Just not tall enough to do that, though. God, if I could just be just six inches taller, then I could play in the NBA. God, please let me be six inches taller. Amen. Yes, I'm six. Oh, oh, I'm six inches taller. Oh, oh, I can't even score on a kid's net. I'll never make it in the NBA. Oh man, all my clothes are too sh short now. Danielle, it's time for bed. Do I have to, Dad? Yes, it's late and you need your sleep. I don't want to go to bed. I'm reading my book. Let's go. I wish that I never ever had to have a bedtime, that I never had to go to bed, that somebody didn't tell me what to do all the time. Dear God, please, please, please just let my parents let me stay up and not make me go to bed ever again. Amen. Danielle, it's time to wake up. Time to go to school. I'm too tired. Go away. Maybe we don't know what best after all. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Kids Church Online. We miss you and we love you. We can't wait to see you again. Um, today, I'm just going to talk to you for a second about something that I hope will help you in your walk with God and help you grow closer to Him. So I want to talk to you about talking. Funny enough. Um, I just have a question for you. How many of you have friends that you really, really like to talk to or family and loved ones? Well, I know I do. I have all of my family in Texas that I love to get on the phone and call my mom and talk to her. Generally, if I call my mom, we're on the phone for quite a while. And in this time, I've been so thankful for FaceTime and all of that stuff that we have to help us keep connected to all of our friends and family um, when we may not be able to see them. Now, how many of you think that you could go a really long time without talking to a friend and y'all just never talk and you know things like that? Do you think that you would still remain friends? I think that sometimes, yes, you may be able to go a little while without talking, but in general, I would have to say that if you don't talk to a friend, you generally sort of kind of fall out of touch and you don't have as many things in common or whatever and you don't remain as close of friends. So, friendships and relationships require communication, which is talking. So today I wanna to talk to you about the most important person that you should communicate with. And I'm sure that you can all guess who it is, but yes, Jesus. To have a relationship with friends or family or Jesus, we have to talk and communicate with them and to get to know them, right? So, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 12 says, Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. And Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. So, I have a way to help you remember it. Let's talk about it. See, ha, ha talk, T. So, our T there says, take time. 
So the first thing that I want to encourage you is to take time every single day, set it up to talk to Jesus, set a specific time that you know is your prayer time and make it a habit like brushing your teeth. You know, every day we brush our teeth and hopefully you're still brushing your teeth even during quarantine because you need to. Anyway, so remember that communication, the first thing that we can do is to take time for our prayer life with God. Every day, set out a block of time. And A, A says, ah, quiet. Can everybody say, ah, quiet. Sometimes we get into a place and it's really loud and when we finally are in the quiet again, we just go, ah, we can breathe again, you know? Especially like when you're a mom and your kids are screaming a lot, things like that, and then finally they stop screaming, and it's just, it's so nice to have some quiet sometimes. And we need that quiet time for our prayers with God. So, find a quiet place in your home, turn off your iPad, turn off your iPhone, anything that might be distracting you, hide from your brother, from your sister, and go and pray. Get in a quiet place with God that's just you and Him. So, L is the next letter that we have. L means learn. Learn from God's Word. Read one verse a day. And if, if you're really up for the challenge, read a chapter a day of your Bible. Try to understand what God is saying to you. If you can't read, ask your mom or dad to help you because they can help you do that. I know that sometimes people pray, but they forget about reading the Word of God. We really need that. that. The Bible is literally God's Word to us. It's His letter that He had written just for us. And sometimes there's times that I've been praying and needing an answer, and I open up my Bible and it's right there in a scripture. So, for example, one night, this was when I first moved here, I was living in Millbrook and I woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of glass just shattering everywhere. And um, my house, our apartment before we moved here, right before we moved here had burned down due to a neighbor starting a fire on his side and it moving across. But the first thing that woke me up that night was glass shattering. And so when I woke up in the nighttime, I was panicked because I heard that glass shattering and it sort of kind of just took me back to that and I couldn't, I couldn't sleep and I told Tony, I need you to pray with me and he, he was praying for peace and that I would be able to open or that I would be able to go to sleep again. Well, I wasn't able to go to sleep right away because my heart was still racing. And so I opened up my Bible and I started to read. And right there in the book of Psalms was a verse that talked about sleeping peacefully, pretty much knowing that God has your back. And I was so thankful that during that time, I had that verse and that God's word had comforted and answered my prayers that I was praying. So don't forget to read your Bible. Now, K. K is keep a journal. I don't know if you can see that one. Keep a journal. So, I know that that sounds a little girly for you boys, keep a notebook. But, I wanna encourage you to write down your prayer request. Write down everything that you've been praying for because sometimes you forget what you were praying for and God will answer a prayer and you didn't even remember that you'd been praying for it. So it also gives you a reminder to look back on and um, remember all of the prayers that God has answered. So God hears every prayer that we pray. Sometimes he answers in a way that maybe we don't think is the right way or maybe it's not the way that we expect or even really want, but he always knows what's best for us. There are times that I was upset because I had prayed for something and God didn't answer my prayer exactly how I was expecting him to or wanting him to. And it would be years later down the road before I could look back and realize, oh, well, good thing that God didn't answer that prayer because I got something so much better than what I had been praying for. God sees the end from the beginning. He knows everything in the middle and he knows exactly what you need. So trust that he knows how to answer the prayer that you're praying. And I just want to close by telling you a story about a time that God answered a prayer, like that I've seen personally God answer a prayer. So 
My mom had been working with my dad and my dad does landscaping and stuff on the side and she knew that before my dad had found money blowing around, you know, cotton bushes, things like that because of where he works. Um, there's a lot of gas stations and truck stops and things like that around it So sometimes people lose money and it blows and he would find them in the bushes So she was sitting there praying and a little stressed because things had been tight financially And she said God I want to find $20 today And so she keeps working and then she thought well why am I limiting God to $20? You know the Bible says ask and you shall receive so God I want to find $50 Well she kept working that day and finished and went home and she didn't find anything that day. But then a few days later, they were working and there was a big field of sunflowers that they were weed whacking because they had gotten so tall they couldn't be, they couldn't be mowed or anything like that. So my mom is out in the field weed whacking sunflowers and she gets to one that the stalk was so thick that she couldn't even weed whack it. So she was just gonna leave it. You know, forget it, that's a big deal and so I'm just gonna leave it. And then she thought, well, that doesn't look very good and it's not doing my best work. So she got down and she started to dig and pull and try to get that up by the roots. And finally, after pulling and pulling and pulling, she was able to pull that sunflower out of the ground and it left a really big hole. So she said, well, I don't wanna leave this big hole in the field. So she started to shake off the dirt, shake it off, shake it off. And as she shook off the dirt to fill the hole back in off the roots, she saw something tangled up in the roots and when she pulled it out and unfolded it, it was a hundred dollar bill, which was even more than my mom had even prayed for. And she might not have prayed that exact day for a financial blessing, but God provided it anyways. He heard her prayers from days before that and answered them. So Matthew chapter seven, verse 11 says, if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask Him? God wants us to pray. He wants to answer our prayers and all we have to do is ask. So I encourage you, take time to talk to God this week. Every single day, get to know Him. He loves you more than you can ever even imagine. And sometimes I think about that, like he loves me more than my mom and dad love me. He loves me more than I love my mom and dad, which is a lot. He loves me more than I love my kids. You know, and that's sometimes such a hard concept to grasp that we can't even imagine it. But it is true, God loves you and he wants to answer your prayers and he wants to know you. So, to know somebody, you gotta talk to him. So this week, I hope that all of you will talk to Jesus, well, and every day, but starting this week, every single day, find time to talk to God and get to know him. So as we close this, we're gonna close in prayer because that seems appropriate to do. Lord Jesus, I thank you, God, for this day, Lord. And I thank you that you were always just a prayer away, God, that no matter where I am, I can call out to you and that you will hear my cry, God. I ask, Lord, that you would instill within these kids a desire to live for you, God, a desire to talk to you and get to know you, Lord, in a relationship, Jesus, that they would pray every day, God, and to develop that relationship with you, that it is so strong, God, that nobody can take that away from them, Lord Jesus. And I ask, God, that you would help us during this time, Lord. You know the needs of every single person watching this today. And I ask, God, that you would reach into their lives, Lord, and that you would work, God, that you would bring a peace, God, that you would be with them. And Jesus, I ask that you would just help us to always talk to you, God, to get to know you, Lord, and to share your love with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We love you guys. We're praying for you. And I, I don't know if I said it last time, but I hope that this is our last online kids church and that next time we get to be together because we want to see you. Love you. Bye.